there's this kind of desire to put more emphasis on uh, the, the practices. I think in particular the shift in understanding of science standards has been from measuring it by what a student knows and understands to one by measuring it by what a student can do. So there's been a shift in assessment from what you might call a knowledge and understanding model to a competence or a performance model. The major challenge is it is actually quite a shift in the paradigm of assessment because I think people on teachers and assessment developers are quite used to measuring knowledge and understanding. It's very well defined, it's quite easy to conceptualise. You can write a kind of multiple choice question without too much difficulty about whether people can know and understand, whether they can comprehend. Even to some extent, there's more complex acts than that. But what you're asking for is somebody to demonstrate a performance. You know, can you analyse and interpret a set of data? It's probably the most familiar one. But can you uh, construct an argument from evidence? Can you use a, a model? These kinds of things are a little bit less familiar. and Therefore, it's difficult for people to understand exactly what's expected. And I think that's very much what's going on at the moment, which is people trying to say, well, I'm having to teach these things. I can see what the performance expectation is, but am I doing the right thing? I'm not clear about it. Uh, what exactly is it is expected? I think SNAP is doing the, some of the kind of what I would call intellectual effort of trying to say, well, that's a performance expectation. In what ways can we build an assessment item which meets the intention or aspiration of the performance expectation? The only thing I would say in thinking about this to teachers, we are attempting to, to change the nature of assessment that goes on in the States. Uh, that is going to be a challenge. It's a challenge for everybody. It's a challenge for the people who are writing assessment items. It's a challenge for the people who are teaching uh, in that way. Uh, and it is going to be a learning experience. Uh, we will come out of it hopefully wiser, but don't expect anybody to get it right instantly, uh, is what I'd say. So you know, look on it as being a kind of longer term project uh, and a journey on which you and your students are, are, are going.